Konnichiwa, you just watch Boy and Cock. Better than Roger video. And today, guys, we're back on Ish Force Channel. This one is called Don't Sleep on Bazet. I think that's how you say it. Bazet. B A Z E T T. <coughs> I'm here. I just seen this servant get released in the Japanese version of FGO. And she looks really crazy. She has like that counter, like MP aware. That, th that thing's crazy. But anyway, yeah. So I just seen her. I know this video is going to be kind of crazy. So let's just get right into it, guys. So play. As soon as they think they know you, that's when you hit them with the Stone Cold Stunner. One of the greatest members of the Enforcer faction and the original master of Ku Cullen, Bazette Fraga. Let's Wait, get she's the original off, she comes master? With her own gloves and shoes that are reinforced with rune magecraft, providing her with gruesome ability when it comes to attack and defense. She created a crater in the ground from one of her punches alone. Opening doors the normal way is old fashioned. Who needs a key when Bazette can just kick it down with brute force? She karate chops several of Shadow Emia's steel swords with her bare hands she easily was wait 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 pause wait 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 she signed an od already but she's the original master to ku cullen is that the caster one or the lancer one because the lance is supposed to be uh what you call it um skahawk right so is that you know what i'm gonna get my answers probably all right so play Ice from Luvia's butler and punch him straight into the wall. If you think your cheap tricks are gonna work here, then think again. You spike volleyballs, we spike chandeliers. Get your game. <laughs> spike she chandeliers. Was able to smash through several of Ilya's magical barriers with no problem. Keep in mind that these same magical barriers can tank several laser beams from Shadow Medea. She picked up the concrete out the ground itself and shattered straight straight through it along with Ilya. When she was going up against Shadow Gill, she was real life beating this man up. Just the impact of her punches was creating shock waves that hit the wall behind him. She dodged several of Luvia's gem attacks, then blitzed straight through them. She took even more gem attacks head on and grabbed Luvia by the throat. Oh God. Over here, she took one of Luvia's gander bullets to the dome and shook it off with no problem she casually knocked away Luvia's gander bullet when she was at her mansion she was punching through multiple of Ilya's magical blasts like she was playing baseball deflecting some of them back at her she nullified Ilya's magical wave by just stepping on it real steppers are in the building once again <laughs> to put back. this into perspective this same energy wave was strong enough to slice a tree in half she managed to jump at least 12 stories and do a perfect landing with no damage are you a mage or an acrobat i can't tell the difference she took one of Luvia's way more than acrobat to the face and came out unscathed luvia used her mage crab to blow up the entire mansion. when i say oh at the idea that she was o able to tank it she took a brutal kick from kuro in their fight and got right back up when miyu was using the rider card she made pegasus slam bazette from numerous meters in the air and this didn't stop her either and although class cards are nerfed in comparison to a real servant bazette was able to tank a pegasus charge head on and then bounce back she then tactfully used this to her advantage took another charge on purpose to grab a hold of pegasus and get the upper hand what a monster in the fight against Zababa. She flat out tanked one of the hits from the Colossal Giant head on. She's very calculated. Constantly looking for a way to make an opening. Taking another six slashes from Kuro on purpose in order to land a brutal punch. Her willpower is also on another level. She took eight impalements from Shadow Gill, two of them being fatal, and refused to go down. She even has resurrection rooms. You heard me what? right. Even if you <laughs> Yo. do manage to take her down, she has 
runes that can bring her back to life at peak power. She took Shadow Gill's phantasm to the heart and came back with a vengeance. She's been shown to be extremely agile, being able to dodge bullets in a hallway where there's nowhere to run, bouncing off of the walls on top of that. Now we just flexing. She dodged dual machine gun bullets at point blank and continued to do so throughout the entirety of the room. She was dodging several magical whips when she was closing in. Okay, that's dope. Shadow that's Gears, sick. That's sick. Of Shadow Gills fans hey, hey, hey. Like they I'm going to pause. That was sick. That right there was sick. She's literally skating. She's like Shadow the Head. Hey, that's sick. I like that. I like that. I seen Bazette in the, in the thing in FGO, but she's sick. She, the, hey, that is so nice, bro. That's crazy. That's so deep, bro. All right, back to it, play. And there, her ridiculous strength and her speed combined is akin to a monoburst. Let's keep it a thousand. Why walk up the stairs when you can just jump up the rails instead? Jordan who? She speed dashed a <laughs> Jordan who? The field against Ilya in an instant. She tactfully ran up Zababa's arm and then tanked his hit right after. Kuro tried to sneak an attack from behind Bazette and she still got hit first. How do you let this happen? She broke an entire tree in half with her bare hands, then turned it to a weapon on top of that. She caught oh, nah. uh -uh. with uh -uh. her hand at point blank. She caught Kuro's nah, bro. in her <laughs> Nah, bro. Threw it back with even more force than it had before. Allow me to show you how it's really done. She had enough fortitude to break out of Ilya's magical traps, then dodge her beam moments before its arrival. Then you have Bazette's trump card. Let's talk about it. A literal noble phantasm that's been passed down through her family line. A sword from the war god Lug, who is also Ku's father. This phantasm allows her to manipulate causality and one-shot her opponent once they pull out their best move. If you value life, I advise that you proceed with caution. She was able to use this against Miyu and overpower her Bellaro fun she can use up to three of them at one time by doing this she was able to alter their effect and shoot through an entire wall of shadow gills phantasms back when she was at luvia's mansion she was able to casually toss an entire couch across the room with one hand by the way when she was fighting against the shades in ataraxia she mercilessly crushed one of their skulls just oh. by doing a right jab angra himself Self mentioning that it's hard to believe that punch even came from a human. In just 40 seconds, Bazette was able to smash straight through the Tosica bounded field, which is wild when you consider all the trouble Assassin went to back in Fate Zero. She landed seven fatal blows on Ilya's maid, each one being strong enough to blow her organs out her back. Ilya described her to have a barrage technique that allows her to attack from every single single angle you ain't going nowhere in ataraxia she pulled off this same technique killing multiple enemies at once the output being compared to a spinning top uh, even angra manu was impressed that she managed to take down wow. nearly 20 shade monsters and think nothing she's about impressive it. she casually made a crater beneath her just so she could use the smoke as a diversion she casually used her power to launch rin numerous meters into the the air she punched the hole through shadow gill's chest to reach his card when she was fighting against beatrice her hits were enough to completely shatter beatrice's metal gauntlet even when she was joking around her throwing a card at beatrice was enough to knock her to the ground she flat out oh hulk slammed me you when they were in their fight somebody called child protection would you she tanked an entire axe child from protection a shadow ain't gonna help, man. Only 
being pushed back slightly her reflexes are not to be written off being able to respond to surprise attacks in mere seconds in hollow ataraxia when she faced off against the edelfeld sister she dealt with a barrage of gander bullets just by parrying them by normal standards that one on the left side is capable just of cool. one shotting you you have the scene where ren tried to infuse her gander bullets with gym mage craft and they still didn't do damage if anything it just pissed her off when darius pulled up she skillfully jumped through a glass window and came out unscathed she took on a blow from the edelfeld's unnamed saber and was only pushed back her tolerance for taking damage is abnormally <laughs> high if it doesn't take her life it's none of her concern the manga itself tells us that her runes make her hands stronger than tungsten steel she easily was able to bro what she cannot do though when they were fighting against the shadow monsters during her fight from ataraxia she had enough strength behind her attack to kick a shade monster's head directly off of his body as i mentioned before her punches are said to come out at at least 80 kilometers an hour disgusting she easily was able to manage a surprise attack from miyu she was fast enough to blitz beatrice while she was using the magni card and dodge thor's hammer she weaved through a countless amount of shadow gills phantasms even though they were coming out of the floor at point blank when you bro nah man she was <laughs> yes yeah nah man uh... fighter they had at the clock tower she mentioned that even when she was inexperienced she was able to body one of the Einsburn's homunculi nasu himself mentioned that even if shiro reached his full potential she would still mop the floor with him in prisma Ilya, prior to her meeting up with Ilya, hey, it's so laughable now bro shadow coup and archer even the mystic code ruby mentioned that she's one of the only people that can match a heroic spirit with her bare hands nasu also mentioned if there was a fight between kazuki face stay night kire and bazette that was pure martial arts by normal standards she would curb stomp them both this is ludicrous <laughs> she also has a great number of other runes that she can count on in prisma Ilya, she plays several warding runes throughout the school that work together to alarm her of the enemy she mentions that she has runes that can I speed up her healing she has runes that can shield her from assaults as we've seen her use in preparation against angra Manu. she has the kanaz rune that increases her sight that allowed her to see over the entire district of shinto when they were up against beatrice she had runes that protected her and Ilya from thunder and lightning she that has runes no that sense, can increase nah. her speed going as far to outrun berserker and leave him in the dust and just like ku this doesn't even account for the fact of the several runes we've yet to see when you look at hollow ataraxia in the loops of angra Manu, they managed to defeat five servants with her doing majority of the work not only did she defeat artoria but she took her life and canceled out excalibur before it even took effect same thing goes for lancer she was able to one shot ku cullen just by using her frogger rock going out in a double ko in ataraxia rin mentions herself that bazette would easily give her and shiro that work in prisma Ilya, before beatrice's revival bazette flat out took her life with frogger rock and destroyed thor's divine core her downsides of course would be her exceptions to her frogger rock such as somebody that can revive or who doesn't have a heart are you kidding me one of the best at the clock tower she's out here beating servants with no problem she negated one of the strongest swords in the franchise and told it to kick rocks oh, if this Alter isn't ego. Uh, she's so freaking cool who will turn up next you just gotta find out and yes we do masters too can't believe they tried to box me in oh man you know what I know she ain't coming out no time soon for us in the English version of FGO, but man, do I want this serving, man. Oh my God. Don't sleep on uh, Bazette. It's for this video. Actually, I'm recording second, but I actually might just put this out first just because of how OP this woman is.
Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. So we're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So, yeah. We ain't talking about Kiowa.